All right, you guys, we're putting it all together now. We got the circular punches coming up. Today is hooks, and tomorrow is uppercuts. So we're gonna be putting it all together. We're gonna build your dream fighter. But first, we gotta get the basics. We gotta get a good foundation, because you don't wanna put all these nice things in your house like marble and granite and then not have a good foundation so it all crumbles and crashes. Basics before advanced and the advanced will shine. Okay, so for the front hook, this is lesson number one. So basically, you gotta shift your weight. I remember back when we learned how to pivot your foot. So from here, you're already in a position to bring your weight back over. So you're going, ha, ha. And you're bringing your weight back over and you're pushing off the ground, obviously, twisting your hip, twisting your abs, twisting your shoulder again. And when you're doing this, you want to have kind of like a high guard so you're, you're uh, protected. So you, ha. So if you even like, uh, say they're throwing like a jab, you can, ha, something like that. So that's lesson one. But lesson two is, you really don't want to throw a lead hook from far away because you got to open up and that's just not good. You don't want to open up. So a really good way to set it up, basic, easy, one of the best that works almost all the time. Go back to the jab and back to the cross. So when you throw that and you get into medium or short range, striking is all about knowing your ranges and which strikes are effective at those certain ranges. So you're in from long with the jab, and the cross, or you're in a medium range. And then once you get to medium range or short range, start using the crosses, I mean the hooks and the uppercuts, okay? So you're throwing your jab and your cross and you notice your opponent starts to cover up. This is when you go around his brick walls and hit the soft chin. We wanna go around the walls, not break down walls, okay? So you notice some covering up, and when you're in your cross, you notice that your back foot is already pivoted. So when they have their hands straight up, you go around. Boom, boom. And you're already set up for that. And you're, if you, you kind of want to play like a chess match. You want to be two steps ahead of your opponent at all times. So you notice that they start to cover up. You don't have to throw these super hard. You just use those to set up your positioning and use your last punch as the knockout punch. But remember also this, the hook, everyone thinks that it's a power punch. The hook is an accuracy punch. And the hook takes much practice to master. So you remember, you wanna be accurate over power. And what, why this is, is because when you hit them in the chin, you want their chin to go like that. I'm sure you've hit, seen their chin, doop, and that's mostly when you see a knockout, right? So also when you're throwing a big power punch, Ah, they can see it coming more often. They can see it coming better. So when, when you don't telegraph it, I'm sure, telegraphic, I'm sure that you heard the punch that they don't see coming is the one that knocks them out. So practice that. And then one more thing. You don't want to punch through your target, remember? You want to bounce your punches off your target. So bounce your punches they come right back and you can still hit them really hard but remember bouncing all right 